MMAP is a free open source network mapping tool available to almost all Linux distributions such as Ubuntu and Fedora. It is a versatile tool that can perform a variety of network scanning and security testing functions. Some of NMAP's common applications include performing ping sweeps, port scans, spoofing IP addresses, and covertly gathering intelligence on a network. Ping sweeps involve utilizing ICMP to systematically go up and down available host IDs in a particular subnet. Each host that returns an echo reply is enumerated and may be used in further exploits once that host has been discovered. Port scans involve probing up and down open ports on hosts that have been discovered by a previous ping sweep. Different exploits can be leveraged against each host based on that host open ports. The host open ports indicate the services it offers and the protocols it allows through its firewalls and filters, and this reveals the particular vulnerabilities that apply to it. Performing ping sweeps and port scans generates signatures that can set off alarms on a network's intrusion detection system or IDS. To avoid this, MMAP can spoof the IP address of a trusted server or workstation on the network through custom packet crafting the source field data. Essentially, it can impersonate a trusted client so as not to trigger an alarm or arouse suspicions. In addition to all these tasks, NMAP can reveal the operating system of a particular host by analyzing it to see if it conforms to certain signatures that match predefined profiles. NMAP is one tool among many that can help you test, audit, and harden your network. It is often used in combination with many other tools such as Netcat, Smart, Wireshark, Kane and Able, Luftcrack, and manual techniques such as banner grabbing. We're going to look at a wonderful free networking tool known as an NMAP or Network Mapper. Let me zoom in a few times here. And basically, I just want to install it. So, sudo apt-get install NMAP. All right, and now with that configured and installed, let's um let's put it to use. With Nmap installed, um let's go out there and use some of these you know switches and options. And the first thing we'll do is a ping sweep, and we're just going to scan the network um, for any IPs that will respond with an echo reply. One then two, and actually let's do this network here, 1 into 207, um, 7130. I use a class C subnet mask. Alright. And so it's just going to go into a ping sweep and look for everything in that address. And here we found a bunch of IPs on the network and just kind of going through them. I know that 1 is the gateway. I know that 13 is my Linux server Pegasus. Um, 14 looks like an XP machine. Um, 16 is my Android tablet, and let's see, 17 is my Hackintosh, my little Toshiba i3 that's running Snow Leopard. Um, 18 is my uh, Linux host Galactica, that's this host. Um, and 19 is my Linux phone. And actually, let me see if I can pick up my iPod. I'm going to run this scan one more time and see if I can't pick up the iPod. It's just, it's just amazing some of the devices that you can pick up in the ping suite. All right, and let me go and and in this case, fourteen. There you go. Yeah, my iPad, my iPod's fourteen. Excuse me. So you even picked up my iPod. Yeah. So you can you can gather you know start to gather information just by doing a, a simple ping sweep with Nmap. Very good tool. Okay, um, the next thing we'll do is, again, another ping sweep, or scan, but this time we're going to kind of uh, pipe it through port 80. And the reason is, you know, a lot of routers sometimes, for security reasons, will block ICMP traffic, but if we pipe it through port 80, we might get some, you know, additional information. So, nmap, and I'm going to use the same options, S and P, and this time I'm going to specify uh, a port, port 80. And I'm going to do 109.207.13.0 and a class C subnet mask. No subnet here. Let's we'll see if we can turn up anything else. 
Okay. And that was through port 80. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to initiate a stealth port scan. And this will basically try to, you know, I'll try to go out there and look for IPs. But if somebody were using, you know, packet capturing software or do an intrusion detection, this here would generate a signature. You know, basically they would realize that I'm using software, in this case Nmap, to go out and, and just sequentially ping host addresses or host IPs in a particular subnet or network. And so that would, you know, there's a pattern that gets generated. It would see that pattern, you know, 1, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18. So this is sort of maybe a little bit, you know, sneakier way to do it if we were trying to get it past some packet capturing software. Or um, I'm just going to do nmap. And I'm going to use this option S and S. And 199.207.13.0 uh, in this case is my network and um, I'm going to you know, pick a peculiar IP address in this case and let's see who do I want to who do I want to access I'm going to do my Android tablet let's see, see what I can do with my Android tablet oops let me supply sudo there All right, so I was able to get the MAC address, and there you can see it's an Arcus. It's an Arcus Internet Sonnet, Arcus Internet Tablet. And all right, so I'm collecting a little bit of information about hosts I might not otherwise know. Um, what about another Linux machine? Let me look at a Pegasus here at 13. Okay. And let's see, what about my iPod? I do my iPod. Let's see. Let grab its IP here. And first, I'm going to do a, just a ping sweep. All right. And it's using an IP address of 20. Um, so I'm going to specify, I just want to do a little, little bit more, try to get a little bit more information on this in this case. Um, so let's see if I collect any information. Oops, more, one more time, give it root privileges here. And. So I can get any, any any more information on the iPod. Okay, got the MAC address. All right, and it's yeah, iPhone. So I, I, we're able to tell exactly what it's running there. Um, looking at my phone, let's try that on my phone. This is just a Linux phone. It runs Debian. Basically, it's, I've got a triple boot now, so it's Debian. Um, it runs Mamo, you know, sort of like Ubuntu. And it runs Android, triple boot. Um, what about my Hackintosh? Let's try 17 here, which is the Hackintosh. So we get any information on that. And how about in this case, this is a Windows 7 client. Okay, um, now I'm going to do a port scan of an entire network. Um, so again, I'm going to use Nmap, and this time the dash uh, SF option, and I'm going to specify my entire network, 199.207.13.0, the network address is class C, um, so you know, three octets are class C subnet mask, and this will just kind of go out and do a port scan. Oops, and let me do sudo. I'm used to Fedora here, and I got I got used to sudo in a in a bunch here. Sudo everything. T 
to get those root privileges, which is a good thing. And the way Ubuntu does it is, I think, you know, very secure. All right, so it's just going through and enumerating different ports here. And I was able to pick up, in this case, you know, on this is the Pegasus server there. I'm running FTP, Secure Shell, Telnet, HTTP. Here's my iPod there. Not really an iPhone, but it's, the, it's my iPod. But, so, you know, just I'm able to kind of, I'm slowly getting information. I'm getting IP addresses. I'm getting operating systems. Um, now I know daemons and services that are running. And with them, that means that, you know, certain ports have to be open. And, you know, I can slowly gather information about a network, even a network that I don't know anything about. Just using, you know, different tools, in this case, Nmap, and, and these different command line options. Now, um, you know, I could just use that to kind of glean information, but also if I wanted to, I could pass in an extra option here and write the results of this information to, you know, keep it in a text file somewhere. And so if I did that, um, I'm just going to pass it in right here and just say, um, we'll call it info.txt. Then it'll just kind of give me like a hard copy, so to speak. All right, and if I look at the contents here, um, you know, remember what I called the file info.txt, so I'm going to just cat it, info.txt. And there's the results here. There's my Android tablet, and my VMware server, you know, running Linux, and FTP, FTP and Secure Shell, Talented HTTP. Um, there's my router, gateway. Um, in this case, here's my wife. She just booted up on the network. I got her MAC address and her IP. Um, here's my iPod. There's my phone right there. Found my phone on the network. Just looking at the results of different scans.